Hello folks and welcome. So today I'm going to talk about uh, an internet radio player that has supposedly over 50,000 stations called Shorewave. You can probably hear it in the background. All right, let me get over the preliminaries and then I'll continue. Um, LMDE6 Cinnamon, you can also use this on Linux Mint 22. I am filming in 4K today. Adjust your YouTube player if necessary. Subscription logo is in the corner that looks just like that person right there with yellow brackets. I currently have 588 videos to offer you. You can rummage through the video section. I do have playlists and you can also use keyword searches if you're using a regular browser. Also, I do recommend anyone, current subscribers and new, to read my mission statement. And more importantly, there are some links in there for you. One is to the file system for Linux. If you are brand new to Linux, you may want to check out that article on DistroWatch. If you want to do something for others, the Red Cross is also a good place to start. Again, welcome folks. Now, this thing does have commercials. So if you are working and uh, you can have a nice distraction with this player. And this player also has two modes. That's the other mode. And you can save the tracks. The tracks themselves, uh, let me get rid of the post-it note and that. I was just playing around with a, with a modifying an icon. But more importantly, um, they can be saved in your music folder here as OGG files. All right, let's reopen the interface in standard mode. The plus key, you're going to probably start here. I think it opens this way anyways, if you don't have any channels saved. And you can look at popular. I'm not sure what kind of music you're into. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So um, add to library. It tells you where it's from. Sometimes you'll see maps in here, actually. And then you can actually copy the stream for other purposes. So whatever you're into. See, mine says remove because I already have that one. But I don't have that one. Add to the library. All right, they end up over here. Simple interface over here. So you can see the elapsed time. You got the stop button. You've got uh, information on the channel. And if you see an error like that, you can save the song and it will end up in your music folder by default. Now, if you don't want it by default, then hit the hamburger menu preferences and change where that thing is saving them. It's currently in your music folder, whatever the name of your user is. Uh, our user for today's Bob is just a made up name. Decide on each track. I probably would recommend leaving that uh, because you probably don't want to save all of them. But the notification is generally off. Background playback, that's up to you. Lots of different options. Here is your gadget mode. When you do that, you go into that mode. And that's the other one. This will continue playing even if I close it. Now I'm going to hit stop. Where do you get this? Open up your software manager and go look for shortwave. It's a, according to this, a 28 megabyte download. And again, they claim to have over 50,000 stations. So reviews, details, have fun. Thank you for watching.